In Brisbane, mobile vet Alison has had a call from Sienna, who is concerned about her three-year-old cavoodle, Daisy. Hello. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Hey, I Hello. heard you've been sick today. Yeah. Let's come on in. Daisy, come. I called Dr. Alison today because we noticed that there was like this little white thing in one, one of the poos. So uh, we started to get a bit nervous about that. Okay, any vomiting at all with her? She did have a little vomit. I thought it was in relation to uh, a treat that was a little bit too big that I gave her, but it did, it did have that bile kind of colour, so I was a bit worried. Yeah. And she's really itchy down there, doing a bit of the scoot boot thing. So. She had a bit of a, a runny poo as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just all a bit off. So we better get you into a van and then do the little check. Get a stool sample as well if we can. Okay, check you all over. Daisy's definitely like my kid. <laughs> I know a lot of people have like the term dog mom. I'm definitely a dog mom. Um, yeah, she's my world. Ready? Let's go. Oh, oh it's oh. quick. Shake it off. She knows the way. She does. <laughs> Where's the van? Luckily, on the way to the van, almost on cue, Daisy does a squat and does her business. Good job. So we managed to get a fresh fecal poo sample. So excited, darling. So today with this fresh poo sample, we're going to do a fecal float, which is actually where we are going to look for any worm eggs in particular. And we're also going to do a fecal smear. And that's just to look for any sort of parasite in general. Let's have a look at this under the microscope. Oh, dear. Yeah. Sienna, we definitely have some worm eggs here, so that's a positive for me that Daisy has got roundworms. So that would be why we saw it in the poo and also why she's been feeling quite uncomfortable and quite sick in herself. So we definitely need to get to the bottom of it, give her some treatment and hopefully prevent as well so she won't get this in future. So the good thing about Advocate, it's a complete product, so it'll do your fleas, your heartworm and your intestinal worms. And it also does ear mites and lice. So with her, what we're mostly worried about is the intestinal worms, because we can actually see the adult, big, chunky roundworms in her poo. Yeah. The great thing I love about this is, one, they don't have to eat it. It just pop on the skin. The other thing is that it kills all stages of the worm cycle. So the larva, as well as the immature adults, and then the adults. So you know you're getting all the life cycle of the worm, which is great. I'm so happy that I could help Daisy out today and give Sienna that peace of mind. Nice, simple fix. Nothing to worry about, okay? Be feeling better soon, Daisy. 